Palo Alto Networks is one that we've decided to take a look at. And so somewhere in the middle of this show, we always like to give an earnings play. Uh, P-A-N-W is a symbol that has earnings on Wednesday after the close. Joe, what are you seeing here in the charts and, and how do you want to play it? I see a smiley face. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I see um, no, it's been a, a stock that's been just a tremendous winner over the past three years. Um, it's a security play, uh, internet security. People are going to be need this as much as ever. Um, you know, um, we're not going backwards. This technology is going to continue to advance. Um, and even with the, the oncoming AI revolution, we're just going to need more and more of this security. So if you go back and look at this chart over the past three years, it's just textbook, exactly what you love to see. It has a uh, run up period of consolidation, a run up period of consolidation again and again. Now, really, I see basically the past six months of consolidation here. We have this nice head and shoulders bottoming formation. We kind of poked above it just a little bit last month, dip back down, had a little, little carpet shake, if you will. Now we're back up into that level. I think it's ready. We've had this consolidation. I think we're ready ahead of this earnings event to make the next leg higher. Yeah, so Joe, do you have a trade? What are you looking at? How are you going to play it heading into Wednesday? Obviously, you're going to probably put something on before the earnings yeah. comes out after the close on Wednesday. Yeah, so you know, went and looked at um, some of the history and what it does uh, over time. We're actually pricing in an 8% uh, move um, into, into earnings. And um, of course, you know when earnings come around, options prices are Hi, uh, there's pretty expensive to do it. So I, I looked at a call spread. I wanted to play it to the upside. I wanted to make it a little bit cheaper to do so. So I sold an upside call. I'm actually looking out into January again. I want to take advantage of this year-end rally. I get this. I get the earnings event. Also, you know, if the market does well on CPI, this stock will do well. If the market does well in December, um, this stock will do well too. So I just want to get into this here ahead of the earnings event. Expect it to run up here. I'm just looking at the 260, 290 call spread. The price of spread is about $10, 1050. Uh, so that'll be a thousand dollars, and it could turn into a little over two thousand dollars. So it's a two to one payout for me, uh, two to one risk reward. I uh, really like that risk profile. And you know, in your trade, I was saying you know you'd buy the call now, leg into it because options premiums are so high in earnings. Uh, uh, the, the premiums are going to be just gone after the earnings event. So uh, I want to sell the, the 290 call now ahead of the earnings event. And, you know, if we do get a run up, uh, I won't quite, it won't quite be worth the full, the full $30 right after the event, but it's something I can trade around uh, after the event. Yeah. And you know, the, the reason why I kind of like this, when you look at the sort of the break, even that Joe laid out on this 260, 290 call spread, uh, I look at past earnings events and I, I try and dissect what happened before and when we look sort of every one out of every three or four quarters, we've really seen enormous moves out of uh, Palo Alto and, and those moves being, you know, in excess of literally 15 percent moves. And so the average move is about 7 percent. So the option prices are pricing in a little bit higher than your typical move. But if you get that outsource move or even that 7 percent, we move up 7 percent in PANW and you're already above that break even. So I really like to trade because it's kind of you know, looked at what past earnings have done, figure out where the stock can be. And, you know, this could pay off immediately above that break even point uh, if they turn out to be good earnings. And if they're bad, I don't know, maybe we touch that bottom end of the, the smiley face and it's uh, upside down. Uh, what is it? The clownfish that in a flip both ways <laughs> oh, okay. upside down. So the, the, the frown, the smiley can be a frown, right? Well, I didn't, I didn't notice that before. Yeah. Okay. It's a pop pop fish. So <laughs> it's a popular um, book. I got young kids. I'm a pop out fish with a pop out face, and I spread the jewelry rearies all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> but the good um, news is, if it turns out right, it turns into a kiss kiss fish, so we'll be okay. <laughs>